Hello YouTube. Um, no picture this week because I can't be bothered drawing anything. That and I don't know what to draw. But it's mostly laziness. My Alice item, because I'm back home now, um, is this. It's a little mad hat to racing car. It's really cool. Let me see if we can get some more light on it. It's a little racing car. And it's got a hat on it. And it's green. I love it when it's that rare occasion when I go into the Disney shop and I find something Alice in Wonderland re related. Oh, it fills me with joy. Okay, so I was trying to think of what, what I could talk about this week. Um, I wasn't actually going to do a video because I've not been well this weekend. I had some sort of weird stomach bug which is epic failed. Um, it's like whenever I try and eat something it's like NO! STOMACH DOES NOT WANT! Ugh! Something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling eh, alright at the moment. Um, what the fuck was this gonna- oh yeah, I was gonna actually do a video. I was gonna do like a slideshow of all like my pictures from Disneyland but I've got 309 pictures from Disneyland so I doubt I'm gonna do that so I was thinking today as I was walking home um, what can I film for TCT and then I was looking up because it was dark outside when I was um, walking home I, look up, I looked up and the sky was quite clear I don't know what if it is now but and I could see the stars and I got thinking about space and the universe and it scares me and then I, then I was thinking that's something I could talk about things that scare me that are incomprehensible <laughs> I guess a lot of things that we don't understand are quite scary the universe being one of them um, the universe being this vast mass of nothing? I don't know. Is it nothing? Is it really nothing? I mean, we are just like one thing. Like, not even that big in comparison to the universe. And, like, they say the universe is expanding, but how do they know? How do they know the universe the universe is expanding? What if our just our little area is just moving and the rest of it is just statuary? And they say it's expanding, but what exactly is it expanding into if the universe is endless? Cuz surely if something's endless then it can't go further. Because it's endless. So how can something that's endless expand into something? Because then surely it's not endless. And... <laughs> it's messing with my head. This is why I don't like the universe. This is why I don't like space. Because it's too big. It's too big and it's... We don't know enough about it. And yeah... Black holes scare me. They say that if our sun ex like become like dies, of course it's got like a bajillion years left till it dies. That is gonna make probably one of the biggest black holes ever recorded, and it's gonna pretty much suck in our whole galaxy and pretty much everything around it. But there are bigger suns than our sun. Our sun is only like a small star in, compar in comparison to like other suns that have been like seen. So like, what if a bigger sun like dies and becomes a black hole? Right? Then we're fucked. What if one of those like big suns has like been around for like a shitload longer than what we have? Even though they say that the Big Bang 
was like um, the creation of the universe. Though, did the Big Bang come from where we are now? Did it come like did it start where we are, or are we at the center of the universe? Like, did the Big Bang happen, and everything just went like that, and we are like right there where it all happened? Or did it start where the big star, where the big suns are? Or, I don't know, what is the centre of the universe? Fuck. <laughs> and what was I saying about the big suns? Oh yeah. What if, like, a big sun has, like, been there for, like, longer than what we have, and then it dies? Like, so, like what if it does it tomorrow, and it turns into this huge, massive black hole, and it sucks up the whole universe? Like, what... What's in a black hole? Where does it all go? Like, have they, like, put satellites or something into a black hole to see where it goes? And, like, another thing to do with space. Um, other life. The, th the, the prospect of other life is logical. We can't be the only people in this whole universe. The universe being as big as it is, we can't be the only people, but the thought of other life, aliens, really, really scares me. It's like, they could be friendly, they could be very hostile, if hostile is the right word. That's a bad word, right? Anyway, um, I don't particularly want to meet an alien. All this talk of like UFOs. Um, my mum claims that she saw a UFO. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's weird. It's like if they've been able to get the techno like to develop the technology um, to travel to far reaches of the universe to seek out other life and find other life. And we haven't actually done that yet. We've only got as far as our own galaxy, pretty much. And doesn't that pretty much make us useless <laughs> and backward in comparison to these aliens which have flying like spaceships with high tech cloaking devices and um stuff. <sighs> I don't really know what I'm talking about, I'm just rambling, but yeah. Plus, like, you know that film Aliens? I like those films, but Xenomorphs really scare me. Like, really, really scare me. They're just freaky. I don't want someone, something, from another planet like that to come down here. I'd shit myself. You know? I'd like to hear your thoughts, or read, rather, unless you want to do a video response um, on this whole mind boggling thing. My brain hurts now.